All right, in today's video, we're gonna talk about cleaning up after yourself on social media, mainly with uh, Twitter. Uh, on YouTube, you can do it pretty easily, go into your history, and you can set an expiration of 30 days. Everything over 30 days gets expired, comments and stuff like that, and post on live streams. Uh, you can do it manually too, go in, clear uh, watch history, clear all your comments. There's a menu, just hit history, blah, easy. On Twitter, X, you're finding in today's world, people always will fish back years and years of your post and try to get you in a gotcha moment or just stuff maybe you change your position on and you just wanna clean out Twitter. All right, let's just jump into it. This is quick and dirty. All these browsers, all these apps basically use JavaScript in the browser client side. I use Brave Browser. Let me make a, a, a pro for Brave Browser. It's built on top of Chrome, which is Google's. And the beauty of Brave is privacy. They got a built-in VPN. You uh, get a free week and then you pay nine bucks and then you want to protect your identity. That's a plus. Just do the VPN and you can see it on the upper right corner of your Brave browser. Brave also pays you in Brave token, which is their form of crypto for all the ads and stuff. If you want to watch them, uh, I make, I don't know, 15 bucks a month. Woohoo. In the crypto, it depends on whatever the price of Brave Browser or the Brave token is at the time. It's B A T. Uh, yeah. So that's a good thing about Brave. Also, ads, commercials on YouTube, especially. Any ad that YouTube pushes out on YouTube, you don't see it. Unless the uh, content video you're watching has an embedded ad, you can't get around that. That's embedded in the video. But uh, Brave, you basically skip over any ad. It's beautiful. You don't even notice it after a while. You never see uh, on their movies, on their free to watch movies on YouTube, you don't see any of the ads because they want you to watch free with ads, right? And Amazon does the same crap. So the beauty of Brave is you get around all that crap. It skips right over. It's smart. It's intelligent. I love it. I've been using Brave for years now, probably like four or five years. It's the way to go and make sure uh, viewing, you're browsing commercial free. Even those stupid banner ads, pesky pop-up ads, all are gone, man. And you can, if you really love those ads and you're a masochist, whatever, you can actually disable it and see all the ads if you want to see what you're missing. So it's a good thing. Brave is good. Again, like I said, I can watch YouTube ads, uh, YouTube movies, YouTube videos, no commercials. I can go to Amazon Prime, watch videos, same, no commercials. It skips, it just knows to where the tokens are, the markers are in the frames on the video, and it just skips right over. It's, it's great. I can't push it enough. Anyway, look at Brave. It's built on Chrome. It works great. Privacy, privacy. Uh, yeah, good stuff. So having said privacy, Twitter. Uh, basically, it's all built on like JavaScript and all this stuff under the hood on the client side on the browser. <clears throat> so what I did here is uh, basically go in. Sometimes you just want to flush crap out. What again? What are you really getting? Unless you're being monetized on Twitter on X for your post. Basically, the trick now is you uh, people just go out and they stir up crap, right? Just to get engagement. And if they're monetized and they have their little blue check mark. My posting something like Star Wars is dead or something that's contrarian or something that goes against the flow. You're going to stir up comments, haters, agreeers, whatever. And with that, you're going to get paid. Some people make a thousand, a couple thousand a month. And now in this crazy, nutsy, insane political environment we're in now with election year, people are making oodles of money. Tim Cast, all these other guys on Twitter, just posting almost on inflammatory, but questionable stuff just to get you to bite. Once you bite, click on their post or tweet, and you even reply, it's more money for them. So there's the griff there too. It's almost what do you believe anymore? You can get good news off X and all this, all this stuff, but the real money is in outrage, engagement, and trying to get that mighty dollar. And um, anyway, if you're doing that, fine, keep your bows. But if you don't want to keep your stuff out there, and again, if you post something, what are you getting out of it? Your dopamine hit? Oh, out of boy, I said something, but nobody's going to read it anyway because you're you're not subscribed to YouTube or Twitter. That's the other thing. If you're not paying the nine bucks a month, you're not going to get uh, pushed. You're not going to get uh, your toast, your toast, your your ex post, your tweets, your quotes. I like that toast. Um, your tweets pushed out or visible because you're just a lowly plebe peasant who's not paying for the service. Uh, so why even pose? I mean, I'm learning that too. It's just more of a like, eh, I gotcha. People just like to do knee jerk and I'm guilty of that too. And it's just stupid. It's a stupid practice. 
And that's the problem with social media. And that's why people are all messed up. It's a, I'm going to get you. I'm in my basement. I'm going to post something and show you. You're not going to convince anyone of anything by posting something. You're not going to do it. You're already set in your ways. They're set in their ways. It's just a waste of typing. It's a waste of your time. But anyway, I digress. I just updated my iPhone. All right. So what do we do? You can actually use this script. I wrote it, created this, and it goes through. You run it while you're on Twitter, and it'll go through. This will remove all your replies initially. You can remove all your tweets as well. Uh, replies are usually what gets people in trouble as well. Uh, but basically, all you do is uh, it's JavaScript. There's a little function right here. And uh, it's going to set a timeout. Once we get into the delete replies, it's going to find the handles. It is basically, I'm going to bore you. It's basically mimicking as if you're doing it yourself. If you have hundreds of tweets, it's, you're going to get carpal tunnel. You're going to get tired. You're going to fall asleep. And you don't do it while you're driving, right? So you run this script and you let it rip. And it goes through and just flushes out all the crap you posted and your replies and your repost. Uh, there's a separate one for retweets, a separate function. I'll run that as well. So what I do, I wrote this, this is in the notes, and it's just, if you want to learn JavaScript, here you go, this is the best way to do it. I just cut and paste it, and that slash slash means a comment. I don't really need that. I'm just going to copy this puppy. All right. All right, I'm going to go over to Twitter, and what you do now is I go into profile, and you'll see my widow profile. And you go to replies. There's a little, what's her name? Pocahontas. Uh, what you do now is you go into inspect. See that? You go to inspect. I'm in replies mode. I mean, holy crap, I just reposted something. Because I thought it was funny that NBC went after her because she just doesn't have a brain. Um, go to console up here. See that? You're now in inspect mode. Go to console. This allows you to just run javascript like you can say oh is it echo i don't is echo? i'm so bad i forget i'm i can i get my languages all mixed up oh it's oh it's it's out i'm not gonna do that all right let's go all i do is um oh that's python man i'm so <laughs> i've been in python all day all right let's go this is javascript all i do is paste it blammo see i pasted the code and you can go through, it's gonna do, oh, okay. I wanna take out this. I have this commented out for some reason. But I want this to go through, find delete, and then I want it to scroll to the bottom, sleep, rinse, and repeat. And all you do is that, and you can look at the code and try to figure it out yourself or just let it rip. And uh, I just go in here and I hit return. I'm in inspect mode, in replies, and you just let it rip. And you can see it going through this stuff over here. It's going to bring up the other pop-ups, but it's going for the delete right here. There it goes. And it scrolled down and look, delete post, yes. Oh my God, <laughs> some of these posts are funny. Delete. Delete. Again, what's the point? It's fun to post. You get your little dopamine hit. I'm guilty of that, but I just don't care anymore. It's just, I'm not going to change the world uh, by posting anything. No one follows me. It's just useless time. But Twitter X is good for news, getting the latest news. You just got to know who to follow, what organizations to follow. There are a lot of propagandists out there who are, like I said, getting paid for what they post uh, and engaging. They'll post something that they know will incite and it, uh, upset you so you'll, they'll know you'll engage and then they get a nice little check from X at the end of the month. Some people post their earnings too. It's like, man, you can make a few thousand, a couple thousand a month. You can, I don't know. It's not bad if you know what you're doing, but um, I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> so let's, you just let this go. Uh, someone's ex-wife. Who is that? Was that? I forget who that is. I made some stupid, I always try to be just a, a douche, a, 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 a butthead on some of these posts. But anyway, you let it rip. That's all there is to it. It's going to keep scrolling through and rinse and repeat. And then you're going to end up, see up here on the top, I had 831 posts. And now it's whittling its way down over time. To do this by hand, you'll, your arm will fall off. And uh, I just let this rip. I come back in like half an hour or so. And it's flushed out. And then you rinse and, you know, if you missed any, you run it again. Uh, 
Yeah, there you go, guys. If you're looking for a quick and dirty way, a free way, a free way to do this yourself without paying a service. Uh, I think some services you have to subscribe and it's $29.99 a month and they'll go in through perjure old tweets out. This will not prevent someone from screenshotting something you did. Uh, that's, you know, the internet never forgets, but this is a good way to kind of clean up after yourself. If you're sick of some of the stuff you're posting or you just don't care anymore. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm sure there may be some free services out there, but this is free. It's just a script. And some of this stuff is funny. Uh, oh, you go back and look at some of the stuff you read and all the stuff that's happened. It's kind of a, a nice log of all the crap that's been going on when you look at your, uh, your timeline. But in the end, who cares? All right. Yeah, just don't post that. It. It's stupid. It's a waste of time. You're not going to change the world. But here you go. This is the solution. Uh, with Brave Browser for privacy and then this script to clean up after your Twitter and you already told you how to do YouTube, just go in. That's a manual thing. That's not as bad. This is tedious to do by hand on Twitter. So the script is a plus. And if you want the script, let me know. I will post it below or I'll send it to you somehow. Uh, I just don't want to just post it because it is JavaScript and someone, I don't know. I don't know what would happen if I post JavaScript in a comment. <laughs> I don't know how that would go, but I guess I could do that. Uh, nah, if you guys want it, just post post in the comments below if you want it, and I'll find a way to put it out there. You can just download it. And again, I do have a second set of code to remove your actual posts and your um, repost. So there you go, guys. What do you think? Something stupid, something that's useful. It's a quick and dirty little script just to get something cleaned up. Clean up your clean up your mess, basically. All right, I hope this helps. Uh, not much else going on today. Uh, watching the markets, Misty is up, uh, which is a great index fund, not index fund, a great ETF. Following micro strategies, Bitcoin is up. Uh, da, 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 da. I think my Bitcoin miner is up a bit. I'm still in the red on that one, but uh, other than that, that's all that's going on. I'm not mining anymore. I'm actually trying to sell everything before the economic collapse and uh, get everything out of my house and make some money back on my motherboards and CPUs. All right, have a good day. I will see you, uh, see you in the next video. All right, take care.